Now, what are some of the worst things that you've ever had to do as an assistant? Like, what is the, like, oh my God. Yeah, because I mean, look, we all went to college. We all graduated with, you know, like, you know, but you have a law degree. <laughs> I do, and you know, in the mailroom, there were a lot of people with law degrees. There was, we had a doctor, you know, MBAs. It's, right. it's not, you know, you can't just sort of show up thinking you're the only person with this great education. There are a lot of people crammed into, in the mailroom, it's what, 12 feet by 12 feet? And it really is a mailroom. There's a slot. <laughs> <laughs> there's a big, fancy sorting, yeah, you're sorting room mail. And they say, oh, she's and, in the mailroom. Yeah, there's people no, with MBAs and law degrees. That name's not just a high title. It's not. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it really and is you're mail. really delivering packages. Absolutely. And, you know, so you really have to want to be in the entertainment business. Now, look, doing the job requires a certain amount of ruthlessness, and you know, in order to sort of get things done. Remember, uh, one producer I worked for, you know, this is my first day in the job. Um, you know, he said, okay, you know, he got free tickets to go away for a weekend, you know, on private jet, you know, very fancy. So he called this actress, we'll, we'll call her the A-list girl, and invited her, you know, for the weekend. And she said, oh no, you know, I'm shooting this weekend, I can't do it. You know, so he moved down to the B-list girl. Mm -hmm. B-list girl's like, that's great, absolutely, I'd love to go, that's awesome. Um, well, about two hours later, as he's, you know, getting in the car to, you know, go to the airport, um, the A-list girl calls and said, oh, they changed the schedule. I can go with you now. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it, so he just comes out and he says to me, look, find a way to get the A-list girl on the plane mm -hmm. and find a way to get the B-list girl off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going, like, this is my first day. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I have no idea how to do that. Is there a manual? <laughs> I have to keep that on the list. Right, exactly. I have no idea what to do at this point. <laughs> Fortunately, I knew the guy who happened to be babysitting the dog for the B-list girl. And so I called him and said, can I borrow the dog? So I kidnapped the dog, Aww. you know. He called, I, I know, I feel like, <laughs> again, <laughs> lowest of lows. B-list girl gets a call from my friend and say, hey, your dog ran away, he's missing, I don't know where he is. So she's like now all distraught. She gets off the plane because she thinks her dog's running around on the freeway, you know. And the A-list girl gets on, they never meet. You know, my boss calls me from the plane and says, you can have this job for as long as you want. Mm -hmm. Of course, at that point, I'm going, I don't think I want this job. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Plus, I don't think if you haven't, there weren't many people that, that, at least for me, that I could look up to and say, I want to be like that person. Because once I surveyed everybody that was doing it, at least, you know, the women that were doing it, I thought, oh, yeah. these are really horrible yeah, well, people. Yeah. I don't want to turn into that. Coming from, from the acting side, I mean, were you at all aware that this type of stuff goes on, you know, before you, know, well, you made the movie? Well, um, I, I had, a, at the time, I had an agent who was, was, a, a, was a very tyrannical. He would scream at this guy. Like, I, you know, when I was on the phone with him, he'd be screaming at this guy. And, and when I would go into his office, uh, he would just scream at this guy. He was the, the head of the, of the company, you know, he was like the head of the talent department there. And so that was my only really, you know, he was my only sort of uh, you know, look at that side of it. Yeah. But no, not really. At that time, I didn't really know much about the business at all. You know, you mentioned law degree and business degree, and I don't know if that's still the case these days, I don't want to sound ancient, but uh, you know, if there's still the influx of those people with degrees, but it's very competitive to get into those those positions. Yeah, no, I think I more so now. Yeah, and I, I think a lot of people right. come here thinking, you know what, let me just skip the assistant step, right. and I'll go right to being a junior exec or whatever. <laughs> you know, whatever yeah, that's what I thought. But, but I <laughs> come out of USC, look, I got a producing degree, a <laughs> master's in producing. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, if you didn't do that, like, I, I think that in Hollywood, the assistant job is sort of like your grad school, mm -hmm. because I saw so many people, you know, kind of come and had some airstrike that they could call in in terms of a nepotistic connection right. or whatever, and they would get those jobs, and I would watch people just flame out because they would make all these mistakes that as an assistant, hopefully you would never make because you'd say, oh, that guy got screwed for that one. Note to self, right. never do that, <laughs> you know? And so you, you would amass kind of a, a survival kit watching these, these, these poor guys just get, and, and gals, just get shillelied because they didn't go through the kind of trial by fire. You never realize how good or bad they are until afterwards. I don't know if this was a strange phenomenon that uh, I had one assistant who was just absolutely incredible. And I totally took her for granted. 
the whole time she was there. It was I remember once I gave her a 600 page book uh, just to read <laughs> at, at her leisure. I mean at her leisure. I didn't really give her a timetable for it. But the next morning at noon there was coverage on the 650 page book. Mm -hmm. Can you, can you imagine doing that in a night? She'd done all this, and I, and I was just sort of blasé about the whole thing. And I go, oh, great, thanks for the coverage, but boom. And a couple of years after, I, I realized you know, I had a couple assistants in that, and I was, just, I was amazed. You know, all these years later, when I run into my old boss, I still feel like I'm his assistant. Yeah, you know? no, there's, no, I, there's oh. still It's that, like seeing a teacher when you're younger, and yeah. you get uncomfortable if you see them Kind of revert to that old pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You fall right into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, whenever my boss still calls me, I go, yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, and he just... <laughs> I still get on my knees when I see my old boss, but that's is an old Oh! oh. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Now we're getting down to it. That doesn't go on in Hollywood. <laughs> Let me tell you something. No, no, no. My no, first no. job, I walked in with a tight shirt <laughs> on. And, and n n like no bottoms because yeah. in that, those days you didn't wear bottoms. Right. right. <laughs> and she fondled me up and down. <laughs> and, and you got promoted? No. I became the head of the company. <laughs>